Hello guys and welcome to Vienna. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I just woke up in the most aristocratic city in the world, center of art, culture and historical heritage. We're enjoying a long breakfast in our beautiful hotel named Steinberger and going on a city stroll. It's my second time in Vienna and we're here on a very special mission. We're invited to the Vienna Ball. Good morning, everyone. We're going sightseeing. And before we go, I just quickly share look of the day with you. So as you see, I've got a lot of layering here because it's really super cold outside. Got a white t-shirt, then wool sweater, uh, then this beautiful and super warm cashmere snood. Uh, Saint Laurent belt to accessorize my uh, pleated pants from Massimo Dutti. Adidas trainers and my favorite Bottega Veneta bag, which I wear pretty much everywhere. And this is my look of the day. Our first stop is the Albertina, one of the biggest museums in Vienna with amazing collections from impressionists to contemporary artists and magnificent state rooms. I actually discovered two absolutely amazing artists here. The first one is a contemporary New York artist, Alex Katz. Just have a look at this vivid, colors and absolutely surrealistic motives. It's really so impressive. And the second artist is Ruth Baumgarte and her absolutely outstanding paintings inspired by African people in their daily life. Again, just look at how powerful the colors and the brush strokes are. And even though I've never been to Africa, these paintings really touched me a lot. Okay, enough art, let's go to try some local specialties. And lucky us, there is the well-known Mozart Cafe just in front of us. As you see, we're not the only one to have this idea, so we had to queue in front of the cafe for about 20 minutes. Apparently, it's very popular here. But we finally got a table and absolutely delicious, heartwarming apple strudel. If you are in Vienna, you have no excuse not to try apple strudel with warm vanilla sauce. And I'm ready for dinner and just quickly changed uh, the top. I'm wearing the same pants from uh, Massimo Dutti. They're really super universal because you can dress them up and down. And I just dressed my look with uh, these glittery shoes and this pucker band back and the top from Naked. Today is the day we're going to the legal professionals ball in the Imperial Palace named Hofburg. I honestly can't wait to wear my gown and feel like a real Cinderella. By the way, if you want to attend the ball, you need to follow a very strict dress code. White tie, which means long gown for women with or without long gloves. And yes, you are not allowed to enter the ball if you don't wear a long gown. And tailcoat or tuxedo for men. And since I only had seven days to get ready and no time to go shopping, I ordered five gowns online. Have a look here. The first one is the bombshell dress. It's not really my style, but I decided to give it a chance. The black and white dress, simple yet elegant. The white swan dress. I actually didn't know that you were supposed to wear this crisp white only if you're 16 and you're a debutante at the ball. The Cinderella dress, again, not 100% me, but I love to feel like a Cinderella at least once in my life. And last not least is the Gatsby style embellished dress. So I ordered all five of them and you will see in just a bit which one I wore to the ball. We didn't really have much time before the ball, so we decided to take the hop on bus to see the key sights of the city. And of course, spare our feet for the dancing tonight. I honestly love these touristic buses, always make me feel like a child. I don't even know why, probably because I dreamt to sit on a double-deck bus when I was a kid. 
so my hair and makeup is done and I'm getting dressed now and ready for the ball. And finally, we are here in the Imperial Palace at the ball. I feel like I'm in the movie. It's just so surrealistic and so beautiful. People in their gowns and tail jackets, amazing interiors, red carpets, marble stairs, silk on the walls, chandeliers, and the debutants opening the ball are absolutely adorable in their white gowns, tiaras, and gloves. There is one very important detail you need to consider when you're going to attend the ball. You need to know how to dance and you better take dancing classes because you are expected to know the classical ballroom program. English waltz, Viennese waltz, foxtrot, tango, cha-cha, rumba and of course the famous quadrille. Dancing for locals is just like cycling for the rest of the world. Everyone goes to dancing school at the age of 16 and master their dancing skills every year ever since. And since my beloved husband decided to skip the dancing class and go sightseeing instead, we had nothing to do but just watch and improvise. It's really impressive because there are at least 10 different rooms at the ball, one for each style of dance, from classical ballroom dances such as waltz and quadrille, to foxtrot, jazz, latin and even modern pop music. The drill is the highlight of the evening when everyone gets together in the main ballroom, stands opposite each other and dances according to what presenter says. Turn to the left, turn to the right, switch partners and honestly it really looked hilarious because most people don't really know what to do and they just step on each other's feet, misstep and even sometimes fall down. And because we were not really prepared for the ballroom dancing, we had not really much choice but hang out in the modern Italian room, which was actually a lot of fun because we danced a lot, we were drinking aperols, singing together, so I really enjoyed it. We didn't stay till the end because I simply couldn't feel my feet anymore, but it was definitely worth it because I had a time of my life. It's our last day in Vienna and I convinced my husband to go shopping because Vienna has a lot to offer. From designers, brands to middle and mass market. I actually stopped by flagship mango store to check their premium collection and that's what I found here. The first item I'm wearing is this beautiful handmade red coat. I'm planning to wear it with denim so it's gonna be less classic. The really very nice pop-up color and I think it really matches my complexion so well. So I also found this really beautiful blue shirt and the white leg jeans I was looking for such a long time and it's just very simple, casual yet very modern. It's like tonal contrast which I love the most. The maxi skirt. I already have one from Zara but I really like the fit so much. Yeah, it's pretty uh, basic yet very modern and very comfortable. Pretty much tried all the coats here, but they're really so beautiful. And this one is another handmade coat. So it doesn't have the lining, so it's really super easy to wear it in the car, especially for someone who is driving. This is another color I found. It's also pretty much universal, very basic, very elegant, and super cozy and comfortable as well. I also found this beautiful trench coat and it's really a very nice model because it has this warm lining underneath. So this coat is from premium collection and I'm wearing a large size just to make it a bit oversized because it's still quite tailored and I think it's really really beautiful. For our last dinner, we went to a very authentic Viennese restaurant, which is called, hold on a second, Rausch von Kehrer, with wooden interiors, deer horns on the walls, and waiters dressed in their national costumes. We tried absolutely amazing local wine, and I had best pumpkin soup I've ever eaten. It's time to go home, and even though there is evening sky in my window right now, in my head there are only beautiful images of Vienna and the ball. <laughs>